assalamu alaikum students today we will study chapter number 2 that is factors and multiples and we will learn some new concepts in appearing in this chapter it's your exercise number 2e and question number 5 and question number 8 so today we are going to solve question number 5 and question number 8 The topic of our study is HCF. Okay, so first of all, you need to know what is HCF. So HCF is the abbreviation of highest common factor, and we will solve highest common factor through prime factorization. Okay. now in order to know about highest common factor there is some prior knowledge and the previous concepts that you must know before going towards prime factorization all right so there are two basic concepts in which number 1 is factor you must need to know what is factor i think you have learned in your previous class and you better have the idea already i am just revising and repeating it for you so you can better get the idea about factor all right so what is the definition of factor the definition of factor is if two numbers are multiplied to get a number then these two numbers are called the factor of that resulting number all right it means if you are going to take two numbers okay pick any two numbers either they are 2 and 3 3 and 4 5 and 6 what are the numbers any two numbers multiply those two numbers and the number you get is your resulting number okay so if you are multiplying two numbers that two numbers are your factors of that resulting number all right okay let's take an example to get the clear idea about the factor okay there are many numbers in front of you i picked a number 8 okay in your screens you can clear see the number 8 okay so first thing you have to do is recall the tables because you have to memorize the tables okay so recall the tables in which it appears i have picked a very simple and small number for you so can so you will get a clear idea so it's number 8 so remind and recall the tables in which it appears okay so as you can see from the picture 2 multiply 4 is equal to 8 1 multiply 8 equals to 8 so basically there are total four numbers four tables in which 8 appears 1 2 4 and 8 1 2 4 and 8 are the factors of 8 so basically these four numbers are the factors of 8 because 8 is the number that is appearing in these four tables these four factors all right okay so this is what is factor is now now the second thing is you need to know after the factor is prime factor okay i 
told you that there are two terms that you have to memorize before moving towards prime factorization. Number one was factor, okay? And number second is prime factors. So, what is the definition of prime factors? The numbers that are only divisible by one and the number itself are called prime factors. Yes. So, let's take an example. What can you see? It's number 2. And I am multiplying number 2 with 4. 2 multiply 4 is equal to 8. Okay. So, here are, I am mentioning only two factors of 8. 2 and 4 are factors of 8 over here. Now, in both of these factors, among 2 and 4, 2 is a prime number. Okay? Recall your table again. Think of the number 2. 2 is the number that is only comes in table of 2 and 1. So, what is number 2? What kind of factor is, is it? It is prime factor because it is appearing in only the number itself and number 1. Okay. Now, number 4. What about number 4? Is it prime number? No. Yes. Because number 4 is appearing in more than two tables. So, 4 cannot be our prime number. Here, only 2 is our prime factor. Okay? Alright. I think you have now better and clear idea about factors and prime factors. Alright, students? Clear till now? Now, after recalling the concepts and prior, prior knowledge, the factors and prime factors, you need to know about what is actually the word prime, sorry, the factorization means. Okay, what is the meaning of factorization? What is this term mean? Okay, so here is the definition in front of you. Any number can be expressed as the product of its factors. Any number can be expressed as the product of its factors. It is called factorization. So, let's take a number. Let's take an example, 16. Here, there are four pictures in front of you. 1 multiply 16 is equal to 16. 2 times 8 equals to 16. 4 into 4 equals to 16. And 8 into 2 equals to 16. So, this is how we can do the factorization of 16. Again, I am repeating, you have to memorize the tables, okay? Tables will be on your fingertips, okay? So, in how many tables 16 is appearing? 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16 itself. See, how many numbers, okay? 1 multiply 16 is equal to 16. 2 multiply 8 equals to 16. So, 16 is appearing in table 1, in table of 2, and in table of 4, and in table of 8, and in table of 16 as well. So, there are many factors of 16. Okay. This is how we do the factorization recalls as many as numbers and tables in which 16 appears and write the all of these numbers okay 
now after recalling and after memorizing the factorization now you need to know about the prime factorization your actual topic is today's topic is prime factorization so what is the definition it is in front of your eyes a factorization which contains no composite number is called prime factorization so you have better clear idea about the composite numbers yes composite numbers are those numbers which are not prime numbers and which can be divisible by more than two numbers okay so this is the definition of prime factorization now our today's topic is to find hcf through the prime factorization okay so we have recalled all the concepts before going towards our question okay we have learned about factors we have learned about prime factors and we get the idea what is factorization and what is prime factorization okay because in this method only you have to deal with the prime factors okay which contains no composite numbers only the prime numbers okay that's why this procedure is called prime factorization because you only have to deal with prime factors okay let's move towards our question it's exercise 2e open your books it's exercise 2e and page number 38 and question number 5 and what is the question first of all read the question carefully what is the question find hcf of the following pairs using prime factorization method all right so you need to find hcf and what is hcf highest common factor good so we will do its part number a look at your box is 32 and 24 all right okay class this is something new that how we do the prime factorization it's simply our uh, your divisibility rules okay it's something related to your division okay so your first number is 24 this is the method and this is the shape that how you solve the prime factorization how you identify the prime factors of 24 okay there is a icon hint that you can see on your pictures okay and what is the hint take very small number okay pick very small number to divide with 24 okay all right so 24 is your even number there is an other hint if you are dealing with even number you can divide it by number 2 because the numbers that are even they are easily be divided by number 2 so i pick number 2 in order to divide with 24 so 2 multiply 12 is equal to 24 all right so think of again now we have number 12 now we have new number 12 forget about 24 now you are going to divide with number 12 and again in every step you have to recall your hint pick very small number don't forget that okay if a number that can easily be divisible on 2 then go for 
pick number 2. Okay. And if it is not divisible by 2, then you can go for number 3. You can move ahead. Otherwise, you can divide it by 2. Okay. Now we have new number 12. So it can easily be divided by 2 because you better have know the table of 2. Okay. Yes. 2 multiply 6 equals to 12 because 12 is, is appearing in the table of 2. 2 multiply 6 equals to 12. All right. Now we have new number 6. Again recall 6 is even number. It can be divided with 2. Yes. Write 2 outside the line and write 3 right below the 6. Okay. 2 multiply 3 equals to 6. Now. Now we have a new number 3. Okay. And it is clearly, it is obvious that 3 cannot be divided with 2. So we will shift towards our next number because 2 is no more helpful. Yes. We pick number 3. 3 multiply 1 equals to 3. So here 3 and is over because you have to keep on dividing till you can see one over here as a quotient okay now move towards your prime factorization of 32 again we have an even number 32 and you can divide it with 2 yes 2 multiply 16 equals to 32. Now we have new quotient that is 16. 16, yes, it, does, it is also appearing in the table of 2. 2 multiply 8 equals to 16. Again, we have a quotient 8 and that is even number. So we can go for again 2. 2 multiply 4 equals to 8. Okay, your quotient will become right in below 8. Okay, and the number that you are dividing with comes outside the that line. Okay, now we have number 4. Again, 2 multiply 2 equals to 4. And then still we are not having 1 as a quotient. So we keep on dividing. Okay. So 2 multiply 1 equals to 2. Now we have a quotient 1. And then we simply finish the division. Okay class. So class. In this way we have done prime factorization. Now. Next thing to memorize is. What are the prime factors in them? See, what are the prime factors? Yes, yes, please identify. Yes, there is a bracketed digits. Okay, I put brackets so that you can easily identify the words in the brackets. The digits in the brackets are your prime factors. See, 2, 2, 2 and 3 are your prime factors in factorization of 24 okay and in factorization of 32 there is 2 2 2 2 and 2 there are five twos in the factorization of 32 so can you see if there is any composite number no, these are all prime numbers. These are all prime factors. That's why we are calling it prime factorization because there is no any composite numbers. All right. So let's move to our new step. Okay. See. Prime factors of 24 equals 2. We are writing in this way. 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 multiply 3. Okay. Prime factors of 32 are 
2 multiply 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 and multiply 2 okay now you need to find out what are the common factors okay common prime factors in both numbers okay it's clear in front of you prime factors of 24 and prime factors of 32 you have to find out the common factors okay so what are the common factors what are the common factors the factors which repeat in the prime factors of both numbers okay let's see consider number one number two number two can it it be appearing in 32 yes okay so tools in red i marked as a common factor with the help of an arrow you can see arrow arrow will help out you to find out the common factors okay move towards next number it's again two two blue two in blues are again the common factors again the arrow can be helpful for you in order to find the common factors again two is your common factor two in purple now three two and two are your non common factors because they are no more common with each other okay so we are not having to do with this thing okay now how to find it here till now we are just have to find the prime factors okay multiply the factors which repeat in both numbers that's your common factors to get your highest common factor so in your screens there are common factors there are three common factors 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 so in order to get highest common factor you have to multiply the common factors so multiply the common factors yes 2 multiply 2 is equal to 4 and 4 multiply 2 is equal to a so in this question our highest common factor equals to 8 okay class this is how we solve the prime factorization okay rest of the parts are just like the same okay so we will move towards question number 8 let's now do the same method by comparing three numbers it's on question number 8 it's on page number 39 and we are going to do part D okay part D is 48 30 and 40 why I picked part D because it contains three numbers to compare with okay now you have to do the same procedure previously we have two numbers and now we are having three numbers do the prime factorization by following the same procedure by recalling your tables by recalling your hints that pick the small number recall the even number okay so in front of your screens you are having the factorization of 48 then factorization of 30 and then factorization of 40 okay so what are the prime factors of 48 2 2 2 2 and 3 yes what are the prime factors of 30 yes 2 3 and 5 okay what are the prime factors of 40 2 2 2 and 5 all right so again as you previously done arrange the prime factors of all these three numbers
All right. Now, prime factors of 48 equals to 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 and multiply 3. Again, we have to write down the prime factors of 30 because we are arranging the prime factors of all three numbers. That is our question. 2 multiply 3 multiply 5. Move towards next. Prime factors of 40 equals to 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 and multiply with 5. Now recall the next step. Yes, you have to identify the common factors. So what are the common factors? That arrow can help you. 2. Yes, in this question only 2 is your common factor. Because see, 2 is appearing in 48 but 2 is no more appearing in 30. And 2 is again appearing in 40. So what you need? You need 2 in all these factors. Okay. And there is no 2 in 30. That's why we cannot take it as a common. Okay. So, we have only one common factor. So, we are not in need to multiply with any number. Because there is single only one number that is 2. And that is our highest common factor. So, the highest common factor of 48, 30 and 40 is equal to 2. Okay class, I think you get the clear idea how to do the prime factorization and how to find the HCF. Okay. Okay. Now what you have to do is you have to practice the rest of all the parts of both questions. And keep that thing in mind that you have to follow the same procedure that is factorization.